Xbox Game Pass is easily one of the best deals in gaming, but leave it to Microsoft to make it super confusing with all the different plans available. So if you're new to Xbox or you're thinking about picking up Xbox Game Pass, this is the video for you. Trust me, you do not want to pay extra money for the wrong plan where you get a bunch of stuff which you don't even need. First up is Xbox Game Pass Core, or the artist formerly known as Xbox Live for all of you gamers from the 360 era like me. For $10 a month, it's your budget-friendly entry point for multiplayer fans, as you get access to 40 plus games, including some big names like Doom Eternal and Halo 5. Plus, you can hop online with your buddies for some multiplayer action, as yes, unfortunately, you need to pay to play multiplayer games online, unless they're free-to-play games like your Fortnite and your Call of Duty War Zones them you don't need xbox game pass but for any paid games unfortunately you do need a game pass subscription to play online with your friends and there's another catch there is no day one releases or ea play so what i mean by that is when xbox releases its big games often they go day one into game pass so you can play them as part of your subscription not with Game Pass Core, you do not get access to them and you do not get access to the EA Play service either. So if you're waiting for the next big game like the new Gears of War or Indiana Jones to drop, this plan might leave you a little bit disappointed as they will not be included. But if all you want is some online multiplayer with a few extra games thrown in, Core might be your best bet. But make sure you hang around to the end of the video as I'll tell you which tier I've subscribed to and how to save a ton of money on your subscription. Now if you're a PC gamer, you're covered also. You get your own plan for $12 a month. PC Game Pass gives you a massive library of over 400 games and here's the best bit, you get day one releases and EA Play included meaning more new games you don't need to buy on release day, saving you some cash in the process. Now, it's not perfect as the plan is only for PC, so console gamers, sorry, this one is no use to you, you need a PC. Plus, your PC needs to be beefy enough to run these games smoothly, which you can find out by checking out each game's individual requirements on their store pages. But if you're all in on PC gaming, this is one of the best value deals out there and is way better value than the console versions of Game Pass. As for $12, you get everything basically. It's almost like Xbox doesn't really care about console gamers right now. PC Game Pass is constantly updated. You get all your day one games, so you'll be never short of fresh games to play. One thing I recommend you all do, no matter which Game Pass tier you decide you want to use, is check out my links down below in the description. They will take you to deals on Game Pass codes, which means you buy the code, it gets emailed to you, you then put the code in on the Microsoft Store on your Xbox, and like magic, you get Game Pass, but much cheaper than buying directly from Microsoft. This is what I do all the time. All my friends do it, we swear by it, and it saves a lot of money. So check out my affiliate links down below in the description and save yourself some money. Next, we have the new kid on the block, Game Pass Standard for $15 a month. This one's for console gamers who don't mind waiting a little bit longer for big titles. You get access to 300 plus games, including fan favorites like Gears of War and Mafia The Definitive Edition. However, no day one releases are included and also EA Play isn't here either on Game Pass Standard. If you're patient though, these games will eventually land in your library. But how long will you need to wait for these new game releases to arrive on Game Pass Standard? That is the million dollar question and nobody really knows. As all Xbox has said is, some games may be delayed up to 12 months or more before becoming available on Game Pass Standard. Now that's okay, so you might be waiting up to a year for a new game which comes out, which the PC Game Pass subscribers would have access to in day one, and 
Game Pass Ultimate subscribers will also, who we'll talk about in a minute. But what is really wild about all of this is most Xbox games are now launching on PlayStation 5 these days. So we're now living in a world where Xbox's own first party games will arrive on PlayStation before they arrive on Game Pass Standard. <sighs> Wowzers. So Game Pass Standard is a solid plan for console users who don't need all the extras or the latest and greatest games and just want access to a big library of games to play on their Xbox. Now the top tier option is Game Pass Ultimate. For $20 a month, you get absolutely everything. Over 500 games, access to EA Play, day one releases on Game Pass Ultimate, and even Xbox Cloud Gaming, which means you can play games straight from the cloud, stream them right to your console, or to your mobile phone, or to your laptop, your Chromebook, your PC, you name it. One thing that is quite cool about this and is slightly underrated, some games are massive to download and install. You can instead just jump in and play it on the cloud to see if you like what you see. If you're enjoying it, then you can download it. I do that quite a lot with Game, Pla uh, Game Pass Cloud Gaming and I really enjoy it. I think it is a cool feature. And supposedly they are working on something really cool which hasn't been confirmed yet, that games which you buy and own, which are not on Game Pass, you may still be able to play them from the cloud via Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or Xbox Cloud Gaming. So that could be really cool to see and we'll keep you posted here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe for all the latest and greatest Xbox news. So as we were saying, whether you're on console, PC, or want to play on your phone or anywhere else, Ultimate has you covered. But the price keeps going up. It started at $15 a month and it's now $20 a month. So if you play only on one platform, this could be overkill and might not be worth it for you. However, if you're serious about gaming on multiple devices and more importantly, want access to all of Xbox's big game releases day one, then Ultimate is hands down the best value for you right now. Let's just hope they don't keep increasing the price or it may become not worth the cost in the long run. So which Game Pass plan should you choose? Let's just wrap this up nicely for you. If you're a multiplayer console gamer, go for core. PC players, obviously opt for PC Game Pass. If you're sticking to consoles and want a vast library, Game Pass Standard is a good bet. And for your ultimate gaming experience across platforms where you can get everything, have your cake and eat it, you know the drill, Game Pass Ultimate is the one to go for. Now I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and tell you what I have subscribed to and why and maybe you should too. I personally have been subscribed to Game Pass Ultimate for years. Why? Well, I love the day one releases and the variety of games as I am always discovering hidden gems, particularly indie games, which I wouldn't have played otherwise. The major letdown has been the quality though of Xbox's big first party games over the past few years as they haven't always been up to scratch. Think about games like Redfall, which was just terrible. Forza Motorsport when it launched was just a glitchy mess. Halo Infinite was a bit of a glitchy mess also. There's so many big games that they really should have hit home with. Other than the incredible Forza series, Forza Horizon series, which constantly delivers, and Flight Simulator as well, they're probably the big names which have always delivered on the platform, where the other big games have left a lot to be desired. But the coming year on Game Pass is looking super strong. So hopefully they can deliver some great games and make Xbox Game Pass great again. Plus, stacking Game Pass codes saved me a ton of money. Three years of Ultimate for the price of one is one of the best deals going. If that sounds awesome, check out this next video on screen right now where I show you how I did it.